We now move on to a very special part of tonight's awards, when we induct the 2009 Hall of Fame recipient. Joining the illustrious gathering we have built up over previous years of the Hair Expo. But before I talk about our inductee, please welcome to the stage to present this amazing accolade, Hair Expo event director, Julia Urban. This is a very much, uh, this is very much a first for Hair Expo. Our inductee has experienced the hedonistic lifestyle of a 1970s rock star, as well as fronted the camera in the glamorous world of modeling. Our inductee left crowd surfing and catwalking behind to join the heady heights of hairdressing in the 70s as an apprentice. But those long hours on the salon floor soon paid off, rapidly moving up through the ranks, cementing his or her place in the Australian hairdressing world. In an age of larger-than-life perms and draw-dropping shoulder pads, our inductee swept the boards at the Hair Expo Awards, winning both Hairdresser of the Year and Excellence in Hairdressing Education Award, before moving on to take up a much more influential role in the world of Hair, Hair Expo. Never content to stand still, in the last 20 years, our new Hall of Fame inductee has also been instrumental in establishing one of Australia's largest training academies, launching a fashion label, setting up a highly successful boutique salon and spa, becoming national guest artist for KMS, a world master of the craft, and national guest artist for L'Oreal Professional. More recently, folks, our inductee has focused on the world of publishing launching one of the most fashion-forward and beautifully designed hair magazines, not only in Australia, but worldwide. In 2009, he or she was honoured by Hair Biz magazine with the title of Australian Hairdressing Legend at a special tribute gala event. Of course, the achievements we have just listened, uh, listed would be an enormous achievement for 10 people. However, just two very special people have managed to achieve all of the above in their combined 60-ish years in the biz. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you our Hall of Fame 2009 inductee, our first joint inductees, husband and wife, creative partners, and Australian hairdressing legendary legends. Julia. Thank you. Suzanne Anthony Winholshaw. <laughs> Well, that's a surprise. <laughs> Anything that's happened that's been good for us in our world and in our lives has happened because we chose to become hairdressers. You know, um, I guess our, our mission has always been to try and uplift the industry and to try and create, create a scenario where hairdressers believe in themselves beyond merely being people who dress hair, but believe in themselves to the extent that they can truly make a change for the better and forever. And I believe hairdressers in Australia are doing just that. You know, when uh, Tom is doing the thing, you know, he talked about rock stars and crowd surfing and <laughs> whatever. <laughs> and we are rock stars, aren't we? You know, we really are rock stars. And I think that the energy that we generate is so 
extraordinary that without hairdressers doing what we do, I think the world would be a very glum, boring, dull place indeed. Before I invite Susa, who is the love of my life, who I actually met as a hairdresser, because that's one of the greatest things about being a hairdresser, that you can be very professional when you have a new client coming into the salon. And when you're doing the client, recommend, uh, the, the client consultation and you're taking down details such as name, address, phone number, <laughs> and during the actual haircut, sussing out such things as boyfriend status. <laughs> and it's incredible how we have the six degrees of separation because some of you may not know this, but some years after I met Susa, well, not some years, quite soon after I met Susa, she introduced me to her best friend from childhood a girl by the name of Tracy Tuckwell, who happens to be Tracy Tognini. The other thing I wanted to say before I ask Susa to say a few words is, Ilsa, come over here, darling. <laughs> um, at Hair Expo many years ago, we brought up two little girls. <laughs> Viola, who's in London right now, and Ilsa, who's here. <laughs> this probably isn't going to sound very good, but I only took up hairdressing so I could hang around Anthony. <laughs> And um, I really don't have much more to say except to thank Hair Expo and Schwarzkopf and the industry for your faith in Anthony and me over the, over the years. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah.